All right. Um, so I've been having issues, and I believe other people might be having issues, especially once I get the wind turbine out. Um, getting the LR1600-2 set up for lifting. Um, so what I did is I created this Excel spreadsheet. It's called Lift Setup. And it will be inside the zip folder once it's released. It's in there now for those that are testing it. Um, but what it allows you to do is figure out how much ballast you need for a particular lift. Um, it's both in metric and imperial. So metric in both of them, whether it's metric or imperial, you put in the weight that you're picking up, how far out you're picking it up, or how far out it needs to go, how high you're picking it up. You can select how much superstructure ballast, up to 18 uh, ballast plates, uh, Derek ballast. This will be automatically calculated, but you can put in a radius for that um, based on the type of ballast you're using. And so this gives you what options you have for that, but you have to put it in manually though, um, because the t regular Derek ballast can be infinitely variable between 10 and 18 meters. Same thing with the ballast wagon, 13 to 18 meters. Whereas with the B2 ballast, because you have lattice pushing it out, you only have you have three specific distances you can do it in. All right. So then you also select the type of uh, ballast type you're using. So center is basically the ballast here, just the center portion of it. Uh, full is both the center and the wider part. So then you have B2 and BW. Um, <clears throat> here you can see you can drop down to four ballast plates on the superstructure and then you're, it requires 23,400 kilograms of derrick ballast at 15 meters. Since we're using the, in this case, since we're using the derrick ballast B plate with a full one, which weighs 10,000 kilograms, you only need two ballast plates on top of it. That gives you actually 70,000 kilograms of ballast total um, to do that lift. Um, if you increase the radius of how far out the lift is going to be, it increases the requirements of ballast. If you increase the height, it's going to increase the required ballast. Um, just like it does in real life, I worked with a crane operator. Um, Thank you very much. I appreciate your input uh, to try to get this close. And keep in mind, this is a guideline. It is not hard written rules. Um, so once you get the ballast set up like this, you still may need to adjust it up or down a little bit to get it to work or, or move that direct ballast in and out. Right. Um, so this is going to be in the, the LR1600-2 mod. Um, that way you can do it for any load that you're wanting to lift and it'll help you uh, plan that lift out.